It'll only be five years. That's nothing. Five more Christmases, and you'll be doing your first Christmas far from home. Yeah. Hello and good morning everyone. Welcome back. Starting out the last and final week before Christmas. It's practically here. Are you ready? Is everything purchased? Have you gotten everything done? Okay, well, I pretty much have everything purchased. It's not wrapped at all. None of it's wrapped. That's okay. We have time. We have a whole week. We're so excited to go into this last week because we have some really, really fun things going on. Really fun. Some of our most exciting things that we usually do around the holidays is happening this week. Can't wait to take you guys along with us. Today's going smooth. Kids' first full day off of school on Christmas break. I can tell you they're all having a blast. They're vegging. They're chilling. They're hanging out together. It's so sweet. They're so... Hey. I just saw Fred. Look, Fred's hanging upside down from the chandelier. What, Fred? All right, well, he's crazy. Kids are just hanging out. They're having a great time together. I love it. I love the memories they make, whatever we do. Breaks like this, they're talking all about the sleepovers they're gonna have. They've already asked if they can do a sleepover on Christmas Eve, which I think is super fun. I love that they're making memories together. It's really cute. They're excited. I'm excited. I got out and did a great workout today. It felt incredible. Came home, got showered. I think it's a jammy day. It's totally a jammy day. Hazel and I have some really, really fun plans this evening. So I'm gonna stay in comfies and jammies until that time. But you guys, I'm taking her to the Nutcracker. This is something I've done every year. I think this is her, this is probably her fourth year, I think. Third year or fourth year. Anyways, it's something we do every year with her. She buys a Nutcracker. It's so cute. That's gonna be awesome tonight. But for now, just getting things kind of sorted in the house. I feel like there's just stuff sitting everywhere. I'm gonna give this room like 10 minutes. I've got other things to do today. I've got laundry going. I've got a timer on my laundry so I can make sure I change it. You know, I've gotta keep myself on task here. So I'm like putting reminders in my phone, making sure we're getting it all done. Ugh. We've got a lot to tend to. Mom just ran to the post office to drop off. Probably the last remaining orders that would for sure get there by Christmas. You guys can of course continue to put in your orders at thisishowbingham.com and we will fulfill them and send them as they come in. But with it being Monday on the front end of Christmas week, I would say anything after today, probably less likely to get there on time, but you never know. Mom dropping off one big final last load at the post office and UPS, hoping to get it to you guys in time for the holidays. Thank you guys so much for making that a part of your Christmas wish list. We can't even tell you or put into words how much that means to us to think that there are people making Christmas wish lists and on those lists are items from the This Is How We Bingham family. And to think of the excitement around opening and receiving and wearing those, it just brings the biggest smile to our faces. So thank you guys so much for that. We have a lot of other things going down today, a lot of fun with the kids. Mom is actually gonna be taking Hazy to their annual Nutcracker Ballet. They go every single year. They get a fun new Nutcracker doll, a Nutcracker ornament. It's a big thing that Hazy looks forward to so very much. In fact, when they started going to this, Hazy would say every time when she grows up, she wants to be a ballerina. <laughs> this is a big deal to them. The boy's gonna be chilling at home. I think Rye Guy's actually gonna go to a friend's house. He's doing the teenager thing. They're all over the place. But we're gonna be playing some video games tonight, ordering some food in for sure, and just having a blast. First full day of holiday, Christmas break in full swing here. Everybody taking it very easy. Kids playing some games to start today, watching some shows. Now they're up, showered, teeth brushed, head out to hang out with some friends. This week, you guys looking at the week ahead, every single night, every single day has something on the calendar. So it's going to be a blast. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have got the alert bell turned on. Some of our favorite videos will be coming up. Our favorite vlogs and our favorite memories will be shared with you guys this week. And of course, course, as we go into actual Christmas week, have quite the array of festivities on tap. You don't want to miss a single vlog. And thank you guys for being a part of our lives every day, hanging out with us every day, tuning in, sharing in life's experience with us. We love you guys and you make everything better and brighter. And that includes these wonderful holiday seasons. Oh, get wrecked, crew. Mom is back. No, not only am I back, I just went to the UPS store like this. Wait, you were dressed like Santa's a Christmas elf? elf? was out delivering packages. <laughs> They're on their way. This is how they get delivered, and this is how we bang them. Well, I was like, I'm gonna see someone I know. So as I was walking into the grocery store, I saw my neighbor, and I was like, hi. Sweet and then PJs. as I was inside the store, I walked in, and saw Ryler's best friend's mom, and I was like, Santa's elf is here shopping at the store. It's always at that time in pajamas that you're gonna run into everybody at you know. Least I'm clean and showered, I'd rather be like... Been like three days without a bath. I've never actually done that. Since last week. <laughs> but it is Christmas break week, Mindy, so anything you should be... Anything goes. Anything goes, it's all good. Including hot chocolate goes for... It's not breakfast, it's, it's the middle of the day, Miss guys. Miss Hazy wants <laughs> hot cocoa. <laughs> These days. So I told her I would make her some. Just throwing in some hot cocoa. On top of that, while mom was at the store, she got a message from a certain someone. Maddie Bingham. Hermana Bingham called while I was in a Macy's grocery store. And I was like, I know this looks weird. You're wondering why I look like an elf inside of 
a grocery store. <laughs> but I said, let me get home and talk to your dad, and we'll call you right back. You guys, that's a big deal. We're gonna talk to Maddie right now. You guys know we get to talk to her every Monday. If you watched our Q&A, we talked a lot about the communication that we're able to have with her, and every Monday we get to talk to her. But I'm thinking we're gonna find out. We're gonna talk to her about this. I think that we do get a Christmas call as well. If we don't, this is our Christmas call. This is the Christmas phone call that we get, the video chat that we get with her. But I do believe we should be able to get one also on Christmas Perfect. Day as well. But guess what? We won't be in pajamas on Christmas Day also. So not a lot will be different. Yes. <laughs> like all of your ultra valuable stuff like your laptop all the things that like we cannot lose it's in the pink bags we know that, that one we have to keep safe that was just plain awesome we got a chance to talk to maddie here about everything she's up to everything she's doing down there in the dominican republic having an incredible time you guys heard all about her christmas plans everything she's got going on asked her if we were going to be able to talk to her on christmas day as well because typically missionaries do get like a christmas and a mother's day phone call no matter what i was like with these weekly video calls you still get the christmas call and we do so we are going to get a chance to talk with her on on Christmas Day, that will be awesome. For her first Christmas away from home in a far distant foreign land with no family. I did tell her she already has the experience with warm weather Christmases living in San Diego. It's not that weird for her to be in a tropical climate for Christmas, but she's handling it very well on her own out there in the DR. And we're excited to at least be able to share her first Christmas away through technology. Hopefully that will help close that gap and not make it feel like she's so far from home. Wow, we have got two beautiful Christmas babes in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. Woo! What's going on tonight, ladies? What are we gonna do? Do you want to tell them? We're going to the Nutcracker. We're going oh. to the Nutcracker. This is something we have done for, I think this is our third year. Yeah. Last year we got to go with Maddie. We're not going with Maddie. We you talked to her about it today, earlier, though. Yeah. She's in the Dominican Republic. So yeah. <laughs> me and Hazy are going to the Nutcracker tonight, and it's one of our favorite things we do all Christmas season. We get to pick out a Nutcracker for her room. <gasps> and this time I think I'm gonna have her pick out an ornament for her tree again because she has the one from last year on her tree, and it's so cute. It's yeah. super cute. But it broke. It did. But you know what? It's a super easy glue fix. Sorry, mom, you might not know that. But <laughs> it's very easy glue fix. The hand just came off. They're pretty good. You're wearing our matching dresses again. Yeah. But you girls are going out to California Pizza Kitchen, a fun dinner beforehand, yes. then off to the performance. And it's kind of a late night. You're leaving like now ish. Yes. You're gone from, like, Stephanie five told to me 10. to leave my house at 423. Oh, that's critical. To get to her house. Okay. So we're going to pick up Stephanie. We're going to meet Lindsay and her daughter, and then Lindsay's sister, Stephanie. So two Stephanies. For dinner at California Pizza Kitchen. If we have time. We might stop and get some treats, and then we'll go on over to the show by our nutcrackers and watch them dance the night away. And then you guys could be gone until like almost 10 o'clock tonight. So this is a great, awesome girls night. We just Holiday tradition that we love. Too, so. Yes. Woo! Hazy rested up for this one so that she could have tons of fun energy tonight, guys. It's gonna be a blast. Be awesome. If you get a chance, no pressure, but grab some clips to share with the vlog. I think it'd be a lot of fun oh, to I see. definitely Okay, awesome. We love you guys. Have fun. Thank you. Mom and Hazy may have taken off to go watch the Nutcracker, but guess what? We are the Nutcracker. <laughs> is as much as I wanted to make it look like it was this epic bros night it was supposed to be mom and hazy go to the nutcracker we hang out here slaying as the nutcracker some VR some Xbox maybe order some insanely bro food oh, yeah. actually I just took the kids to their friend's house they're gonna be gone all night and Rye guys headed to a party at his friend's house which leaves me here alone by myself sad and lonely <laughs> 
<laughs> Speaking of being alone, I'm okay being alone tonight because I'm actually gonna go ahead and get a head start on editing this vlog because we are gonna have the suspended slabs delivered and set in place for our home, the garage floor, tomorrow morning. So I need to be ahead on the vlog. It's okay, it gives me a great opportunity to get to work. But I was thinking about being alone, how lonely that can feel, and it was pretty crazy talking to Maddie yeah. today in a foreign country, the DR, with a companion who she's only known for a few weeks, yeah. and she's gonna be celebrating Christmas essentially alone yeah. without family far, far away. Isn't that crazy, dude? Yeah, I just couldn't even imagine like not having family there with presents around the Christmas tree. It's so weird because this will be the first time in her life she has had a Christmas morning where she doesn't like run down the stairs, family around in the fun PJs, go to the tree, get your Christmas presents. It's just gonna be like wake up, say good morning to your companion, do some scripture study, yeah. and get to work. We do get a chance to call and talk to her, but right guys, it's gonna be you potentially in yeah. just a few years. Right guys, yeah. thinking about serving a mission as well when he turns 18. Uh, it'll only be five years. That's nothing. Five more Christmases, and you'll be doing your first Christmas far from home. Yeah. Keep saying far from home, and it's me think of the Spider-Man movie. <laughs> <laughs> Far from home, because that's like really hot right now, which by the way, we need to go see. Yeah. I think that's something we need to put on the calendar. Anyways, guys, great talking to Maddie. She is not going to be alone. We'll get to video chat with her. She's got her companion. She's got her other friends that she's made in the Dominican Republic. I am, however, going to be alone. I'm going to run Rye Guy off to his friend's house. Kids are off of their friend's house. Mom's off of the Nutcracker. We'll reunite here together as a family sometime much, much later tonight, I think. Yeah. <laughs> We are reunited again. I'm trying to be loud and hype, but it's actually almost 10:30 at night, and finally everyone is home. It is pretty late, but that's a late night for us, family. I just got home. Dad pulled in with all the boys at the exact same time. The same time Mom pulled in. We pulled in the garage at the exact same moment. So everyone is back home together now before yeah. everyone sends off into bed. I think Mom wants to show us something she got for Hazy. You guys, Hazy, do you want to show them what you got? We have a tradition every time we go to the Nutcracker, and you guys, I did video. At this point, you've already probably seen it. <laughs> Hazy chose the Nutcracker. Hazel and Hazy took such a long. Nap and she's still so tired. You gotta open it. Let's be extra careful. Open it. I don't want it to break. Oh my this gosh. Is the one she that is got. so cute, Hazel. I had this realization when I was sitting there that eventually Hazy's gonna grow up and she's gonna leave. So I decided to buy my very first nutcracker. Oh! Wow. And I just got like a totally like traditional nutcracker. That is cool though. So he's got the his little colors lady, are so like, cool. Hey, how you doing? Wait, what does Hazy leaving have to do with you getting nutcrackers? Well, eventually she's gonna grow up and take all these nutcrackers to her own house. Oh, I think it was just an excuse to get two, but I like that. We're joking that I'm not gonna turn into that nutcracker lady that has like- <laughs> You have a museum of nutcrackers? <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. She has two other ones that are like princesses, one silver and I think one's gold. Is that right? Yeah, oh, I know the gold one because when we play I Spy at night, she always chooses the I, I Spy gold nutcracker. That. Oh, and then she ended up And, being, but wait, there's more. But wait, there's more. When she- <gasps> Ooh, this exciting. one we gotta be very Remember? careful with, huh? When she put her Christmas tree up this year, you guys will notice that she <gasps> had a little dancer. Gosh, Hazel, so this she one got is So this is a lady with all kids under her dress. So there's a part in the, part what's it in the movie? The ballet. Part in the ballet where there's this person that comes out and they lift up their dress and all these kids come dancing out and it's really <laughs> cute and it's a really fun part of the, that part is of the adorable. nutcracker. adorable, what a so fun hazy. ornament. <laughs> Great to have the family back. What a fun day for everybody. Got a lot of editing done. That was fun. I know, you had a whole night to yourself. Yeah. You don't ever get that. I would think that it'd be like, it was. It was very peaceful, it was enjoyable, it was fun, but it just worked. I don't know if that's I was like gonna say, if I had the house the to time. myself, I would probably do laundry. And I'm get sure you would. Too. Yeah, I, in my mind, I was like, I wanna play some Adulting. video games, something fun, just Lost nerd out me. a little bit. As I said earlier, because they are laying the slabs, these cement concrete slabs on top of our garage, Come that's on. going down at nine o'clock in the morning. I did need to get the vlog done tonight, and so I, it was a perfect opportunity to work with no distractions and no other alternatives, really. So I got yeah. that done, and I'll be able to be there in the morning for that. That is not Pretty the only exciting. thing going down tomorrow, though, guys. So you're going to want to make sure you come back for tomorrow's video, one of our all-time favorites. It's a really good one. One of the ones we look forward to the most in the entire year. So make sure you come back for that tomorrow. And if you're not, maybe you should go down below, hit the subscribe button, Try turn hard. on the bell, bing dong, bing bong, <laughs> come back. Christmas we love miracle. you. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Hazy are going to the uh, Dominican Republic. Republic.